Zeus and his wife Hera were making love in their golden bed in their palace on the high slopes of Mount Olympus. Zeus, the cloud compeller, and Hera, the queen of heaven. Zeus taking his stormy pleasure of Hera, and Hera taking her earthy, cunning pleasure of Zeus. And when they'd finished, Zeus rolled over, and he fell asleep, as he always did. And Hera shook his shoulder, she said, Zeus, can't we talk for once, you and me? And Zeus grunted, and they sat up side by side on the white pillows, and they talked about this and they talked about that, and the conversation came circling round to the question, who takes the most pleasure from the act of love, a man or a woman? And Zeus said, there's only one person who will know the answer to that question, and that is Tiresias. He alone has lived both as male and as female, because there was once a man whose name was Tiresias and he was walking through the skirts of a forest and he saw two snakes entwined in the act of love and he thought here's a chance to kill two serpents with one blow. He reached, he picked up a stick, he lifted it above his shoulder and he brought it down with a thwack onto the backs of the two snakes but they slithered away unharmed and as for Tiresias he felt suddenly strong strangely changed, as though all the terminals of pleasure and pain in his body had mysteriously shifted position. And he looked down and he had become a woman. And not only with the body of a woman, but with the mind and the heart and the soul of a woman. And for seven years she lived and she loved as a woman. And then, seven years later, she was walking along the edge of the same forest and she saw the same two snakes entwined in the act of love. And she stood and she watched them for a while and then out of curiosity she picked up a stick and she brought it down with a thwack onto the backs of the snakes. And he was as male a member of the masculine kind as he had ever been. And it was on account of that story that Zeus and Hera called to Hermes, the messenger of the gods, and they told him to go and fetch Tiresias. And Hermes strapped on his winged sandals, and swift as thought, he flew down to the world, and in a moment he was back with Tiresias. And Tiresias stood at the foot of the golden bed, shaking and quaking with terror. And Zeus looked him up and down. Tell us the truth, without beating about the bush. Who takes the most pleasure from the act of love, a man or a woman? And Tiresias answered as plainly as he knew how. On a scale of one to ten, a woman regularly reaches nine, but a man rarely rises much above five. And Hera began to tremble with fury. How dare you? How dare you reveal the innermost secret of my sex for all and sundry to hear? And she reached down to the foot of the bed and she grabbed Tiresias by the hair and with her fingers she gouged out his eyes. And Zeus looked at Tiresias with the blood streaming down his cheeks and he felt pity stirring in his heart. But what one god or goddess has done cannot be undone by another. And so Zeus reached down to the foot of the bed and with the tip of his finger he touched Tiresias on the forehead. He opened up his inner eye. He gave him the gift of second sight. He said, there, the secrets of the future, they are yours now. And from that day onwards Tiresias became the greatest seer, the greatest prophet ever to have walked the face of the earth.